Hey everybody, this is Edge Joe and welcome to my first video in a series that I'm going to do on creating basic games using GameMaker 8. Uh, please ignore the GameMaker Studio 2, that is something I just um, downloaded um, this morning and um, I'm just going to check that out. But I'm going to use a, a GameMaker 8, I'm just going to launch it from here. Uh, you should, there we go, so this is GameMaker 8. So if you do have this, the first time you open this, you can either purchase the Pro Edition, which actually doesn't work anymore because it's too old now for that. You can see this is uh, was all the way to 2009. Um, so we're going to continue using the Light Edition. So I'll just click on the Light Edition, and then it should um, come up um, for us in a few seconds. So we'll just give it time to um, come up. I'm going to show you the layout, and I'm going to show you what we're going to create um, in this. So there we go. So that has loaded now. So I'm going to run... Uh, oh, no, I'm going to open a game. Um, if I can open this game, it's my bouncing ball game, and that should hopefully come up. Let me just open the sprites and my objects in my room, and uh, I'm going to run it so you can see. By the way, if you want to follow a tutorial, you've got this tutorial um, on the right hand side, which you can't actually see right now, but it's on the right hand side if you open it. Um, I'm going to run this game using that one. So, this is what we're going to create in our first tutorial. And that's the bouncing ball game. There we go. It's uh, come up now. So you're going to have um, a wall on the edges. You're going to have a ball that's going to bounce on the side very slowly. But if you click on it, it goes twice the speed. You can see I've got a score now. Click on it again. Click on it again. And as you can see, the score goes up. The score goes up. There we go. And it moves every time. It goes quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, for the diff Ooh, I missed that. Difficulty level. And eventually it will go oh my days if I can just there we go eventually it'll go so quick that you can't actually see the ball anymore which is actually quite fun so let me close that and show you a bit of the layout of what we're going to be doing I think I should zoom in on this one so let me just do that come back in here right so some of the important things that we need to look at in terms of the layout is that we're going to be creating sprites that's al always going to be our step number one Let's create a sprite then we're going to change that sprite into an object, which is this one. And then we're also going to create a room. Um, whoa, that is not what I wanted. Let me try that again. And we're going to create a room like that. So this is the, the bits um, that is probably most important when using GameMaker 8. So um, obviously you can create more than one sprite. You can uh, then um, change them into more than one object. And then um, obviously you have the rooms are sort of like the level, so you'll see later how that works. So once you've created a sprite, um, that will then um, be stored in here. As you can see, I've got two sprites. I've got a sprite ball, and I've got a sprite wall that I've got over there. And once you've changed the sprites into objects, that will be stored over here. And um, uh, that's when we can actually code them. Once we're in this part, if I can just move that. Once we're in this part here, we can actually code um, these objects. And obviously, your your room is over here that's your um, like your level so to speak so that's what we're going to use and then obviously every now and then you're either going to create something new or you're going to open something or you're going to save something using those standard icons but the three we're interested in is um, the creating the sprite over here and then changing it into an object over here I can make that and then obviously creating the room um, sort of over here so let me get out of that one and just um, exit the zoom function there we go so that is the layout of what we have and then in the next video I will show you and we will actually start to create our first game thank you for watching see you in the next video